And we're back, guys. Welcome to Good Energy, where we talk tennis. I'm just curious, did any of you guys see the Andy Murray underhand serve? Kind of like a trick shot, essentially. Uh, he's playing uh, Duckworth here on center court, and the reality here is it's, it's a set of piece. And the underhand serve came at the least expected time for Duckworth something no one expected the crowd loved it i mean for a while there i thought i was watching dustin brown versus uh nick carrios or uh gal monfis but if you guys take a look at this andy murray underhand shot and the reality here is if this was nick doing this he would i mean i don't know if the crowd would necessarily boo i mean the crowd loves nick but i don't know if it would be received the same as a Andy Murray doing it. Look, Andy Murray, one of the all-time men's tennis greats, uh, singles, great doubles player as well. Ton of championships. I, last time I checked, I think he had like f 52 t titles or some some outrageous number like that. But I think he's a little bit frustrated with Duckworth at the moment. That was definitely unexpected. No one expected him to do that, and he almost lost a point on it. It would have been a, it would have been actually funny if he would have lost a point on it, but he ended up winning the point uh, overhead volley. He put it away. Uh, but what do you guys think on that? Uh, comment below. I'm very curious to hear what you think. Uh, look, one of the best tennis matches you've ever seen: Gail Monfils, Dustin Brown. That was a show. The fans loved every point was amazing and the same with nick carrios but let me know what do you guys think of the underhand serve uh should this be a part of more men's game and women's games should they practice should they practice this should they train for this uh it's unconventional but it's great to get your opponent off balance uh are you guys open to that comment below